Good day and welcome to another episode of the SodaStream News. I'm your host, Sasha Ruptash. And I'm your other host, Taylor Brumfield. Today is May 27th, 2020, and it is an S day. S for sun, finally. Attention juniors, it is time to cast the fourth season of SodaStream News. If you're interested, please email misappear at michelle.sappear at rcsd no later than June 5th. <laughs> Miss Appear will reply on that day with a sample script and short questionnaire, along with information on how to submit your audition materials, which will be due no later than June 12th. The cast will be chosen and you will be notified on Friday, Friday, June 19th. Good luck. Thank you for watching and tune in Friday for another sip of the SodaStream News. We leave you now with the pre-corona segment, the entree round from our food competition parody, Splice. Enjoy. Round two, the entree round. Chefs, for the entree round, you must use these ingredients. We have lettuce, tomatoes, four chicken nuggets, two different types of cheese, and carrots. Chefs, you have two minutes for the entree round. Good luck. Where is he going? Where is he going? It's, it's almost like he's never seen lettuce before. Though. That's concerning me. Is he shredding the oh, carrot with a fork? That's an interesting thing. Is there any really interesting way to get around it that is I'm almost positive getting a, a firm hold on the lettuce with a fork? I really hope Sasha's hands are clean because, I mean, they're all in there. Oh, what is in this corner over here on, on Chef's, Chef's, Chef's plate? <laughs> It seems that he's crumbled the chicken itself. 15 seconds. Now, Chef, Chef Shasha has to move fast. He doesn't have everything on his plate right now. Chef Shasha does have to move fast. Chef Shasha. Hands up. <laughs> okay. I can't tell if that's a face of, of pride or, or fear on Chef Anne Marie's face. Why don't we see uh, Taina's plate first. Chef Taina. Right. Okay, so I'm assuming now that you've made one for each of us. Yes. Correct? What is the one this? with no chicken is free. Of course, it's very nice. What is this presentation that you've given us in the middle? Um, the presentation is like, you know, like a kind of dip, a tomato dip underneath, you know. Now, I think we're going to run into this with everybody. It's no fault of the chefs. But I noticed that there were no condiments. I'm just not getting a lot of flavor. Yeah, Seems I'm sorry about that. Cheese. Maybe more cheese. Yes. Mm. Definitely more cheese. Mm. Okay. Yes, Chef. Thank, Thank you, you, Chef Taina. Okay. Chef Anne Marie. So I have created a deconstructed salad. I have two um, chicken versions and then a vegetarian version. And that's what I need. Everything is bite size so you can all take it in one bite ah. separately or together. Ah. You've not used the tomato for the non-vegetarian options. Mm. So are we supposed to eat this with our hands? If you so choose. If we choose. Okay. I don't really know how I would eat it any other way. I do have a uh, concern yes. I, just with what I'm assuming is going to be a very dry bite. Oh yes, the carrot especially. Yes. I wish I had gotten some more vegetables. I have to seek a replacement for the chicken. So, tomato is the closest thing I got to the shape of the ball of chicken. I must say the chicken and the carrot do not mesh well. <laughs> so now you're calling this a deconstruction. Yes. But I was unable to see what the construction was to begin with. It felt a lot like you just took the ingredients and just placed them together. There wasn't a whole lot of thought that it went into. Thank you, Chef Amber. Now, Shasha, tell us oh, what you oh made for us today. Um, mm. So, judges mm. for you today, I've made a salad with a tomato uh, dressing squeezed fresh on the tomato. I have carrot shavings along with whole carrot bits in there and diced the tomato and put it on top. Then I have a chicken and cheese salad on the side. Okay, I think we've made our decision. Thank you, Chef Sasha. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> My concern with Chef Sasha's presentation is that it appeared to me, let, let me just, if I may, 
My dog recently had some teeth pulled. Um, they, they were rotted and her breath was just terrible. Mm -hmm. And now we have to really mush up and soak her food. Right. And it appeared to me as though Chef Shasha um, was treating us as if we were that, those, that dog that had her teeth removed mm -hmm. and needed our food smushed up in order to be fed to us. As a result of this, um, I don't feel comfortable even eating it. I know that's going to hurt him in our decision time, obviously. It should, though. It should. It should. He, he really it. went I mean, to town was, with that food. With his fingers. He did. And I would, also, I would also have to say that I don't even think a dog should have their food prepared for them that way. Mm -hmm. That was, it was, it was insulting. Mm -hmm. I think we've made our decision. Yes. yes. Chef Sasha, you've been spliced. You just smush too much. <laughs> Thank you, judges. Our next and final round will determine our splice champion. Next up is the dessert round.